I actually see if we can uh, finish their quest, the lighthouse quest. Because we are a little bit stronger. I just hope that we're strong enough. <laughs> because it is a gauntlet and it just sucks. But we're doing more damage to undead, so I hope that since they were ghosts, they, they are also undead. A wreckage. Pfft. You can stay there. Look look at the, the amount of damage we're doing to these creatures though. It's not bad. So we might have a chance now. Smack. Where's the camp? It's here. Hello, mister. Please, we are but poor workers who have... Ah, uh, there he is. Okay. Let's try this again. Should've probably eliminated all the, uh, the spirits f first, but... Uh, I think we can handle them. We can handle the crafts with ease, so... It's up here. They are undead. Don't come running back if you see that there are still enemies. You dumbass. Stay there. It's just a lot of undead. It's a lot of undead. Yeah, keep on running. Run. So don't come back. Run! How's your health? Okay. Not that bad. So I got an idea. You will do your thing here. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna attack. Please? Get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay. Now I'm gonna add you. So that should help. And I hope this is just the last gauntlet. Probably not. Oh, it is. Okay, we did it. Now we can head back and turn in this side quest. That was not that bad. Where is the... Here it is. We did it. The beacon shines for all to see. Now we will once again be a center of industry and commerce. I see a new golden age for the entire island. All because of one hero and a young man with a torch. Yeah. Oh great, another arcane formula. Uh, the wealth of ancient kings. We need to go to uh, Propontis, the Zirconian ruins. So let's portal to... Medea's Grove. Where could it be, though? I actually know where we could be. Um, it's... Wait. Uh, 
I think we did that. Because we have to go into... We got the ancient moon with the two keys. And then we can go to the great tomb of Doris, which we have been to. And then lock doors, we open them up. We have been there. So why is it not ticked off? Okay. Now let's go back there then. What is what's up with you? There once was a great city called Propontis, where now there is only a swamp. The Saconian kings ruled Propontis and each hid a fortune in their palace. Legend says Okay. So that that is this quest. Um, we... I'm gonna check the map real quickly. I really have to walk all the way there. Into that... Yeah, we have a... Long way to walk. So let's just do that. Oh crap, we gotta go through this cave. It's a short cave, I remember that. We just go this way, then this way. What about the experience points? I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, you know what we can do? What might be fun, since there's a boss here, destroy that boss again. Maybe it will give us a good drop. Let's do that. We can do the, the boss thing. Which was this way. You know, you can't attack, right? Then do it! Ooh. It should be here. If you're still here. Yeah, I see it. I see the shiny thing. I see you up there. Okay, what will you drop this time? Please. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Just give me a good drop and I'll be happy, okay? Ooh. Then we still have a long way to walk. Ouch. You're almost done. There you go. What did you drop? I'm gonna get that quest item again. Maybe we can turn it in. Get more experience points. No idea. Uh, we need to go... Well, we can go this way. Doesn't really matter. This way. And then outside. Then we still have a very long way to walk. Uh. This way. Past that. Go 
this way. Wait, is it? It's not this way. Is it through this way then? Must be. Oh yeah, definitely is. This way. Up, up and away. Don't know why, but I lost my friend there. Cross the bridge, doesn't matter which one. Gonna head that way. Gonna do a save there. Walk into the city. Zirconian ruins. And then it should be somewhere in the northeast. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's not there. It's past here, if I recall correctly. Let me go this way. Then this way. Almost there. Here. Uh, the other. Here. We enter here. This is Taurus's tomb. There just should be this door opened. This here opened. Now there's a door. The door wasn't there last time. But now it is. Or was the door there was was locked by a quest? I'm sorry, I'm stuck. Crap. So why was that door locked then last time? Because I think I defeated Doris. You already killed both of my minions? Are you insane? Holy shit. Shit! I'm stunned. This is a lot harder when, <laughs> when you just rush in. Uh, but they will all they will all drop in a bit because I have a feeling that most of their health is gone. Come on. Start attacking. Start attacking, stop stunning. Okay, this is good. Well, he is dying again. Jesus. It's another ghost done. Oh boy. 
that one needs to go. Then we have those nobles that need to go. This is horrible. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Okay, stop it. Heal up for a bit. Oh, the noise. Oh, we gotta find the entire tomb, so it seems. Invite a friend over again. There you go. Great. Now kill King Doris. He's the one stunning. It's almost done. Hero monster killed. Will this door open now? That is the question. Or will it still be locked? Why is it still locked? Okay, I need to get rid of you and then I need to read up on something because this doesn't make any sense at all. Let me check. Uh, inside the grave tomb you will find locked doors that can be opened. We did. Used, uh, used in a keyhole, hit the lever, rinse and repeat. To complete, go into the north easternmost room of the tomb, where you'll find a majestic chest, as well as some ornate and quality chests. Stepping into this room will automatically complete the quest, give you your reward. Sealed by quest. The fuck are you talking about? Oh. Am I stupid? I may have been stupid. <laughs> oh my god, you're such a dumbass, Poofy. I'm embarrassed. Your inventory is full. I know it sucks anyway, all this stuff. Okay, so that's another quest done. Then we have something in Epirus. So we're gonna go to Epirus. And probably hand in a quest here. Could be as easy as that. Possibly. It it is. I won't exaggerate. Things are grim. But still, with their captain gone, we are given a chance to retake what is ours. You can't carry any more. Can't carry any more. Well, luckily there's a merchant I here. Only the most valuable goods into a cart. Nearly cost me my life. Uh, I don't want that. Hey, Tora. Hope you're having a good day. I need to find a caravan. Don't think I will find a caravan here. Guess you found a new favorite game. Me? <laughs> uh, it's probably you. So tell me, what game? What game are you? Uh, is your new favorite game? And what kind of game is it? Dark Siders. Hey, that's one that I uh, that I want to play as well. Is an honor. Um. All three of them, to be honest. Uh, I don't have to use that portal. I can use this portal. We're going to Styx. Darksiders is a, is a nice adventure game. It's good. I've only played, like, the, f the first half hour of Darksiders 1. 
and I have played a little bit more of Dark Sardis 2, which is a completely different game. As far as I know, is that the first one is more like God of War, and then the second one is more like Zelda-ish, and the third one is more Dark Souls-ish. But they're good games. They're they're fun. They are definitely on my list to do after I finish Tiny Quest. I was planning on doing Dark Side as one after I finished Tiny Quest, but then other ideas came came to fru fruition, so maybe I'll just gonna start it up. And uh, start playing that because this it is a fun game. It's really good. I can recommend them. And if you like those, you will probably like Uncharted too. If you don't have the DLCs, this is the last map. I don't think I have the DLCs, and it was already a surprise for me to find this as being part of the game. I thought it would end after killing the Titan. And then the game was like, hey, there's much more to do. Act 4. And I'm not sure if maybe... Act 5 will also be part of this, but I will just see it. I have no idea. We're gonna figure that out once we get there. Right now I'm just gonna... Fly through Hades. <laughs> Do some side quests here. Basically, finish up the game eventually. But I, I already did not expect... Act 4 to be part of the version I'm playing right now. I thought it would stop at Act 3. But maybe this is the, the generous version of the game that has five acts. You know Devil May Cry? Yes. Yes, I do. That's also a kind of similar. Well, it's an uh, action-adventure game. If you like those, you would probably also like the Prince of Persia games and... Um, what's that one with the, with the witch? Uh, I have it on Wii U. Bayonetta. You might like that one too. And God of War, obviously. Pro possibly the new Tomb Raider games? I haven't played them. I own them. Shadow of, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and, and Tomb Raider. They're also action-adventure games. Yeah, Bayonetta. It's also an action-adventure one. Made us all three Bayonetta games on Switch. There's three? I thought there were only two. Well, apparently I was misinformed. Shrine of the Golden Bow. I kind of want to explore what's down here first. And we have almost gained another level. Look at us go. Whoops. Whoops. And what other action and friendship games are there? I mean, there's there's a lot of them. Plenty of them. So you will have... You have a lot to do. <laughs> You're not done yet. You don't know Devil May Cry the Reboot. Uh, Dark Sardis you like more than Bayonetta. Well... I can imagine that, because Bayonetta is kind of weirdish with the, the fighting and the, the action. It's, what I remember of playing it, it's that there are some quick time events-ish kind of thingies. Or it felt like that. Uh, and, and a lot of combo work. And I'm not a fan of combo work either. But to be honest, it has been... A long while since I played that game, so I can misremember things a lot. Oh yeah, the combo. So th I do remember the combos properly. They are so long, and there's many, and you need to memorize all of them. Doesn't make sense. I that that's the thing that I hated the most about the Bayonetta games: the combos. It's 
So I do prefer just a regular hack and slash type of action adventure game. Oh, you might like uh, Brutal Legend. That has some good, good humor in it as well, and Jack Black. I like Brutal Legend, which is also on my list to actually play through. I got too many things to play through. <laughs> so there was nothing else here. Let's go to the Golden Bows then, aka McDonald's. Shrine of the Golden Bow. It's in sale right now, you have no money because of Dark Siders. What's on sale? Brutal Legend? Depends on the price. What's what's the price? If it's like eight or nine? Five! Oh, I might want to buy it on Steam then, because I own it on the PS3. But I might want to buy it on Steam. Five is worth it. Yeah, well, guess I'm gonna do that in a bit. <laughs> Buy you it. Ha! <laughs> Buy me dinner first. I mean, you can start a. You can you can start a. Um, What's that called again? GoFundMe? What is going on here? This looks amazing, though. So that was also a dead end? Oh, yeah, that was just a awesome-looking shrine. Imagine that, a GoFundMe for five euros. <laughs> uh. But it's totally worth the the five euro price. It's also an old game or older game. For me, it's quite new. But yeah, PlayStation Three era, so that's uh, that's about forty boomer years. Ah, uh, to me, PlayStation 3 feels still like the next generation console. Uh, it, it, well, I think it has metal music, yes. It's basically, uh, the main character is a metal head. And it's voiced by Jack Black. And as I recall, there's, there's actually a lot of voice acting done by rock stars and, and metal stars somehow somehow a memory pops up that even Lemmy Kilmister did some voice acting I'm not really sure maybe it's not a voice acting maybe it's just the um, references in the game but it's it's uh, yeah very metal metal based it's fun But with over-the-top humor, and, and obviously over-the-top Jack Black acting, uh, as he is in Tenacious D, so it's... It's great. Yeah, it, it, it remind me to buy it. You can probably post, post a reminder in a Discord for me. <laughs> if you do not forget. Or, you know what? There's a sale... There's a game, um, I forgot how we call it, game suggestion thing, or a sale uh, channel. You can possibly post a link in there, so others will see you too. So you get the, uh, the, the, the bot points, chat points. Now I know you, yeah, him, Jack Black. You have freed me, but can I go on while others suffer? No, I will not cross the sticks until the way is clear for all shades. I will run the ferry myself. I cannot move Caron's boat without his oar. And I fear that the ferryman has discarded it when he 
left his post. If you could find the ore, I will take it up and become a ferryman myself. In the meantime, I shall return to the boat. Alright, so you will do something with the boat, but now we need to find an ore. Da 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 da. So I guess we just keep on pushing forward then, and then eventually just uh, finish up these quests. Dark Siders One is like I force you into full screen. You can't do shit about it. <laughs> really? Is it? Can you not play it windowed? I prefer playing games windowed. <laughs> and, and I'm pretty sure that I insulted the, an entire group of, of gamers right now. How dare you prefer playing games windowed? Well, it's so, so I can actually uh, record it. That's why. Without windowed games, there would be no games on my channel. Uh, besides this PlayStation thing. That I'm playing full screen. On a television, even. I want that. You know what? I'm gonna take a little look up here. Doesn't seem like I missed out on a lot. Not at all. Yes, the nerd to help you out. Got a full screen with the game. He has no idea without changing a little code. Really? So, like, the... What is the key combination for... for is it... Shift-Enter? Or Alt-Enter? I forgot. Is that not working? That sucks, though. We leveled up again. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Alt enters, I, I think, is the key combination to go from full screen to to windowed. Doesn't always work, though. Oh, hey, we haven't seen you in a while. Frost trap. Will you drop some mechanical parts? You will! Look at that! That was good. Can always use those. You dropped something. That sucks. Still have the, the better stuff. On our body already. Gold. The only thing that works for a few seconds is... String Alt. What is String Alt? And Ent to get to task, what I... Really want to see, but clicks me very fast back to the game. What? That is weird. I don't know, I just know that Alt Enter usually is the, the mode to, to swap between full screen and window. Does it your key card, you have the German keyboard. Oh, it's probably Control Alt Enter. Nope. Oh, then it's something else. Then I don't know what you're talking about. Control Alt Delete. Ah. Yeah, that also brings up Task Manager. So it's... What you're saying, because it flips you back into the game, is that it, it really forces you... to... Uh, into full screen mode. Like, it's... Um, the game... The game is like, hey, I'm important. 
Cannot ignore me now. Sir, no way. I can't even see your mouse. Yeah, it probably uh, layers it on on the top layer and unfinished bridge. What the fuck? Okay, okay, I will stay back. Don't worry. I'm gonna go this way first. <laughs> that voice was ominous. Uh, probably because it's an older game, it's like a sort of emulation mode that is layered on top of everything or something. Uh, no, Drago, I don't want to. And, and you, you don't want to either, Derek. Goodbye. You see it when you get the menu I get from the key combo after they can't see it. Yeah, it sounds like it's um, it's an emulation kind of thing. That the game is in emulation mode and forces itself over everything. Which is also why you can't see your mouse. It's a 2010 game. Yeah, that's weird because... Well, weird. I mean, it's not weird. It's... There's... Probably something going on with with how the game is launched and does it change your resolution as well? Because sometimes the game older games do that. You play the original, not the remaster since weak hardware. Yeah, that's fine. So I I just think it might be something like that emulation thing where it just forces the resolution and and uh, pushes itself on top of everything. It's what a lot of old games do, and since Steam or GOG just have some sort of emulation thing going on with the old games, like, hey, we have to launch it, but for that we need to fuck up a lot of things while it's running. That might be the case. Unfinished bridge. No one makes what? We have to fight Charon? Why? I don't want to fight him. I just want his paddle. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. He did when it first launched, but you can't choose the one I screen have. Yeah, but you you choose that in-game, don't you? 